guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another makeup tutorial. In this video, we are going to be doing my third, I think my third, I think it's my third. Uh, it's my third bridal makeup trial video. We're going to be doing a full face and I'm also going to be using some new Moda brushes. So I am going to be the Moda Maven of the month of March, which is so exciting. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. So they sent over a bunch of different brushes for me to use um, and try out in my videos and also have a pack of sponges. So I'm going to be incorporating these brushes into my tutorial and into my bridal makeup look. So if that is something that you're interested in, then please keep on watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is prime my lid. I'm going to do a really natural matte look today because I want to see how this will look as far as like bridal and everything like that. I, I've done the look before. Kinda, I think. I don't really know what, what way I'm going, but I've done a look similar like this before, and I kinda wanna see how um, it'll look with some couple tweaks and things like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my lid with my um, ColourPop No Filter Concealer, and I'm going to use this Moda brush, which comes out of the Five Piece Complete Face Electric uh, brush set. And I just love this color because orange is my favorite color, so I just love the color. But it's just an angled brush, and the bristles are 100% vegan, and it is cruelty-free. All of their brushes, which is really great because, you know, a lot of people are becoming more conscious of things like that. Uh, personally, for me, I'm not, I don't lean either way with that topic. Um, but if you do, these brushes are for you. <laughs> So these brushes from the Totally Electric collection can be used with wet product or dry product. So which is really great for this specific, um, like using it for concealer. Because this brush is angled, I was kind of looking at it and I'm like, what can I use that brush for? What can I use that brush for? And it's an angled rounded brush and it's actually very, very, very perfect for concealer. Because this, this is the type of brush that I use already for um, blending out my concealer and things like that. So it's just perfect. So you wanna make sure that you set down that concealer even though it does dry to a nice matte finish. I'm gonna use a Moda M12 brush. It's more of a highlighting brush, but I'm gonna use it to set down my concealer. It's nice and fluffy and it has really nice handles and this is a silver or part of their silver collection they have a bronze a gold and a silver collection that has different types of brush for different parts of the face and the bristles are so soft on these brushes so 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 soft so I'm gonna go ahead and scoot in so we can get closer for the eye look. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to use the Dose of Colors Baked Browns palette. Um, this palette just has a really nice array of neutral colors. There's a really, really, really light white color. There's also a medium tone color, two warm transition shades, and a deep brown, which I think is gonna make for a really nice eye look. So actually, the first shade I'm gonna apply is this white color and I'm going to take a Moda M19 brush. This is a small shader brush, nice and fluffy, and I'm going to just pat this all over my lid. Um, the reason I'm doing this first is so that way it's already down by the time that I blend it out. I'm just kind of going to go backwards in a sense of what I would do as opposed to doing it the other way that I normally do. So, Plus it gives the eyeshadow something to stick to right away. So next I'm going to take an M16 brush, which is a large fluffy brush, and I'm going to take the shade right in the middle, and this is going to be my transition shade. These shades are so gosh darn pigmented, like they are just, they're really, really, really powdery and really, really, really pigmented. So I'm just going to do like a light dusting. This color is so pretty because it doesn't look overly warm or orange. It looks really, really, really good on camera, especially. Oh, yeah. And now I'm going to just hop over to the next M16 brush. I do have two of these brushes because they are so good. And I'm going to take the dark chocolate brown. And I'm going to just take it on one side of the brush. I don't have it on the tip or anything. I have it on one side. And I'm just going to pat that into my outer edge. And this is going to be my... Um, crease shade, so my deepen and darken shade. I really wanted this look to be uh, the most natural, I guess you could say. 
and like effortless. I am gonna blend this in. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do liner. I don't think I wanna do liner. I think I wanna keep it pretty bare, I think. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that white shade and just go over it a little. So I'm gonna go back into my totally electric um, brush set and I'm gonna take the green brush. This green brush is like a short shader brush. And what I'm gonna do is take that brown shade and put this like right onto my lash line really nice and tight because I don't want it to be um I feel like a black would be a little too harsh in my opinion and I think that applying just a tad bit of this brown is just going to add a nice definition to the lash line but not make it overly dramatic I love 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 doing this when I don't want to use like a black or a, or a deep dark brown just applying whatever color you use in your crease along the lash line gives it a nice smoky effect still soft still subtle without the harshness of a black line so i'm just doing like really light padding motions going across the lash line and then i'm just gonna take um my m19 brush or m16 i'm sorry and take that back into the crease and just kind of blend it out a little bit so nothing's harsh and then we have our nice soft eye look so this look is very 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 pretty and just because it's so subtle, I might even do <laughs> I might even do this. But I'm going to go ahead and do my other eye off camera and then we'll be back for the face. Uh, for the lashes, I'm going to take the Icon Lashes in the style Drunk in Love, which looks like this. They're pretty full all the way across and not like overly long. So they'll accentuate my eyes, but not be like extra, extra, extra dramatic. So I think it's perfect for like a wedding lash. Okay, you guys, so I went ahead and did the other eye, and also I applied some mascara. Um, I'm going to go ahead and prime my skin, and I'm going to use, first I'm going to use the Cover FX, uh, what is this? <laughs> Blurring primer? Oh my gosh, I looked at my phone and completely lost train of thought. But I'm also going to mix it with the Gripping Primer, so I really, really, really love the Gripping Primer for, like, my cheek area and, like, my outer perimeter, um, but I love my pore filling primer for like my cheeks and like right in the middle of my forehead so I use two different primers for two different things which is why I don't think like all primers are created equal <laughs> if you know what I mean because they do different things so like I mentioned the pore filling primer is just gonna go like right in between my eyebrows and in my cheek my chin and now I'm gonna Stretch my skin out, uh, pat into my skin. Make sure you get it out here too because pores are out there as well. So now the gripping primer is more of like a sticky, tacky kind of base. So I take about a dime size amount and I'll go everywhere where I didn't apply the previous so like my nose because usually your nose is the first place to go with foundation so outer perimeter my nose and that's pretty much it and it leaves this really nice tacky base so that foundation is really gonna stick to it which is what you want when you're doing wedding makeup <laughs> So for foundation, love, love, love this foundation. I actually think I might be wearing this foundation on my wedding day because I love the coverage. I love the color. Um, I love the uh, longevity of it. I don't have any issues with it breaking up or separating. So it's the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation, which is one of my favorites. And this is the shade Deep Sable. This is my favorite shade. But I am going to mix in a little bit of cappuccino just to give a little extra warmth. But I can usually get away with just using Deep Sable. Um, it does look just as good on me, but I just like to take just a little bit. 
like that because as you can see if I just put this color all over I feel like I feel and look like an Oompa Loompa um, so it all depends so with the Moda they have a ton a ton a ton of face brushes I have four specific ones right here um, I'm not gonna use throw it all over the place I'm not gonna use the M11 which is a dual fiber brush because I want to use this one um, for blush I believe I'm not gonna use the M06 because I want to use this for cream contouring because it's nice and small can get in the hollow of the cheekbones um, this is the M26 which I might use but you guys know me I'm a sucker for a round round kabuki brush so this is the M28 so this is the one that I'm gonna use because I love rounded kabuki brushes. Like, they are just my, my jam. So, I'm just going to go ahead and blend this out. And what I really love about these brushes is they're soft, but they're also affordable. So, you don't have to break your bank trying to um, uh, buy brushes that are a part of another brand or another collection and are just crazy expensive. So, these are very, very, very affordable. And I have a coupon code. You can use Alanye, L-O-N-Y-E-A, to get a percentage off um, when you check out. I will have it li listed down below, and I also have it linked down below, so you guys know um, that you guys can use my code when checking out using some uh, or buying the motor brushes. So I'm super excited about that because I love, like. Like, when I'm shopping myself, I probably 9 times out of 10 won't buy something if I don't have a code. Like, and it kills me, especially for the wedding. Like, when I buy things on Etsy and there isn't a code and I'm like, where is the gosh darn code? This stuff is expensive. <laughs> okay, you guys, so now for concealer, I'm going to use my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in D42. I separate the two, I use D40 underneath of my brows and, like, for carving out underneath my brows but I use D42 for my under eye concealer and this one I'm running out of I popped out the little stopper because um, even though this is a six dollar concealer um, I need all my money's worth so give me all my concealer and I'm just going to use this to highlight it's pretty much done and I have a brand new one but I'm just so <laughs> I guess you could say so cheap. I just don't want to let any of it go to waste. So I am going to use this sponge out of the set. This is the one that has the flat bottom because usually I usually use a foundation that can be blended out with a brush and I'll use a just like use the top pointed edge of the concealer. So that's why I picked this one up. It is kind of stiff. I'm very, very, very picky with my sponges that I use. Um, this one's pretty stiff so I'm not sure how I'm gonna like it if I'm being completely honest. I just like for it to be just a little softer, a little like it's not terrible. It's not the worst sponge that I've ever used but I definitely would like it to be a little softer. So it did blend it out very nicely, even though it is kind of stiff. It did its job, and that's all I can pretty much ask for in a uh, in a in a sponge. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eye, and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same brush that I used these highlight and glow the M12, and just use this to set my under eye. And I love using um, a sponge to kind of bake, but Mario, Makeup by Mario, he says that when you use a brush, it sets it more flawlessly. And so did Miss Fame, so I'm just, I always go back and forth with um, using a brush and using um, a setting powder, so, or using a sponge, I mean. So I always go back and forth. Now that I have everything set, I am going to start applying a little extra excess. I'm going to switch over from the Sasha to the Beauty Bakery No Flower Powder. This is in Banana. It's very, very, very light, which is why I like to use my Sasha underneath of it. Because this one can make me look a little ashy, and I don't want to look a little ashy. I want it to give me enough brightening, but still... 
not look crazy. So now that I've applied it, I'm just going to go ahead and blend it out. I'll probably end up doing my setting powder like this the day of the wedding. So it's a little softer, a little um, less draggy, I guess you could say. It'll just make it a little more natural looking. So I was going to cream contour, but I completely forgot after I applied my foundation. I went ahead and set my concealer and completely forgot about it. So I'm just going to go ahead and contour with my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette in Medium Deep. And I'm going to take an M03, which is a small contour brush, and just use this to contour the skin. And when I use my Black Radiance, this more so bronzes up my skin than it does, like, contour because usually your contour is a nice shadow effect but I like my contour to be kind of warm I will switch and use like my Becca multitasking powder sometimes but majority of the times I use this and I always tap the side of my chin just to give it a smaller appearance and always tackle this forehead like get the forehead nice and right and tight <laughs> So one thing I am going to do is take more powder and just go along the side of my nose just to further contour that. This is completely optional, of course. Do what you feel comfortable with. Oh my gosh, and blush, you guys. The Black Radiance True Complexion, or no, Artesian Color in Toasted Almond. It's my favorite, favorite, favorite. I'm going to use a stippler brush, and a stippler brush can be used with wet or cream or um, liquid. What? I guess what is liquid. So it can be used with liquid, cream, blush, highlighter, foundation, um, bl like anything. Anything, okay? <laughs> a stippler brush is my favorite way to apply um, blush. And this one is a flat top stippler brush. So it can be used to apply your foundation. It can also be used to apply um, your blush or your contour powder or your cream contour. It can be pretty much used for anything. And I love this blush color because it's so natural that you can pile on a ton of it and it won't be overbearing. So I just love this blush so much. I also make sure that I get up here by my, by my contour just to blend the two together. And then we're going to go ahead and highlight. And for highlighter today, I'm using the Dose of Colors Desi X Katie Chasing the Sun. And I'm going to take the highlighter brush, which has the gold handle. Wait, is this one the highlighter? Okay, this is an eye contour brush, so you can technically use it for your crease. I personally feel like it's a little big for that, so I'm just going to use this as my highlighter brush because it's the perfect size to get um, right in the cheekbone. This is actually the highlighter brush that I use underneath of my eye, which is also technically highlighting. Um, but I just feel like it would have been a little large for what I wanted it to use it for. So I'm going to take the eye contour brush, the M30, and... Pop this onto the cheekbone. Now I'm going to take this pencil brush, this is an M15, and this can be used underneath the eye if you'd like, but I'm going to take it on the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose to highlight that. Like that, and then just take my stippling brush and just go over the cheek, like so. Okay, you guys, so before I pop on lashes and things like that, I am going to take the same brown shade and the same smudge brush and just pop this underneath the lower lash line to add a little bit of shadow. I'm not going to go crazy because, once again, this is bridal and less every day. I mean, I guess they kind of go hand in hand.
And then I'm going to take the same M16 and just go right underneath. So for the inner corner, I'm going to take this Tarte Tartiest Metallic Eyeshadow and Pin Up. And this is what it looks like. It's super, super, super creamy. But it's like a white, but it's got like gold reflex. I was thinking about using this as all over. Um, don't know if I'm still going to do that. But I'm going to take the same pencil brush and go just right in the inner corner. And then finally, I'm going to spray my face with my NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. I know I'm kind of oily, but I still enjoy using a Dewy Finish Setting Spray. Um, I just feel like it really makes the, the foundation, everything really come together really nicely. So I'm just going to go, <laughs> go ahead and spray my face. Okay, you guys, so I totally forgot to apply this eyeliner. This is a Pacifica Natural Minerals uh, eyeliner. I don't know the color of it, but it's like that slate blue color that is a part of my wedding. So this is the exact color of my wedding shoe. So it's just going to add a nice little pop, especially to a neutral look like this. And then once I apply mascara, it's really going to make it pop. It goes on so pretty. Okay, you guys, so for lips, I'm going to use my uh, Clean Color Lip Liner in Chestnut. This is my favorite, 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 favorite lip color, or lip liner, I mean. And I'm just going to line my lips. And then for lipstick, I'm going to take the Desi Katie More Creamer Please Lipstick and I'm not sure if I want this to be glossy. Ah. Okay, you guys, this wraps up the look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely like this look. It's very, very effortless timeless natural neutral the pop of blue in the waterline is such a different thing like I really 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 like this but I'm not sure if this it's very pretty but I kind of think it underwhelms me you know what I mean you guys know me I'm very 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 over the top I'm very dramatic I'm very extra and this look doesn't give that to me so I have one more look in mind that I want to do um, Jack has already said that he doesn't think I should do this look because it might be a little drag but my inner spirit is drag so um, that's why I want to do it so I don't, I don't know um, I really like this look though the lip color I'm not gonna do because I know 100% I'm going to do ABH's um, strip not strip is it strip ABH's Oh my gosh, why do I forget? Uh, it's one of their liquid lipsticks. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank with it, but I know for sure that I'm going to use that with my chestnut lip liner. Those are going to be my lip option because I do like a lipstick, but for the actual ceremony, I am going to wear a liquid lipstick. That way I can kiss Jack, kiss his cheeks, and it won't transfer. And I know with this regular lipstick, it will transfer. But I don't know. What do you guys think about this look? Like I said, very, very, very pretty very pretty I loved all of the brushes as well I really hope you guys check out Moda brushes if not for yourself for your daughter for your niece all of your makeup lovers that is that are in your family or your close friends definitely check these out because you guys can definitely definitely get some good quality brushes for you know not breaking the bank or whatever it may be um, but yeah, I think that's all I have for you guys. Once again, don't forget to check out the link down below. That'll take you over to Moda. Also, don't forget to use Lanye for 20% off of your purchase. I'm so excited that you guys get a discount because they're already affordable, but then you get a discount on top of that, like, hello. And there are also brush sets. So you can check out the electric brush set, which is a really, um, just a really simple all over face brush set. Um, I didn't even show you guys the other brushes. Um, there is 
a large powder brush which can be used to swipe away powder and then a blush brush but I wanted to use a dual fiber brush but you can of course use this blush brush as well um, so you can use those and then it comes with this cute case like when Jack pulled this out of the box I was like like I might even have to use this for my wallet in my purse it's so cute I just love it and then when the brushes are in there it's just so electric and just so out there is so cute so um, those are the other brushes but there are a ton of brush sets as well as single brushes so if you just want the dual fiber um, foundation brush you can get that or the the angled contour brush or whatever it may be you can grab all of that so thank you guys so much for watching I love you all I hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe before you go and I'll see you guys in the next one Mwah. bye